Hello and welcome back to Against the Storm. Continuing our playthrough here and working our way towards well, whatever this stuff is. I think we'll go here because that still encompasses this. So flooded mines. Hostility doesn't grow with each passing year, but you'll gain two more hostility points per villager. Okay, so it just goes up by the number of villagers. That is perfectly acceptable. Uh, there was a new patch that came out uh, that we're playing on. I doubt it's gonna have any effect on this current save uh, because the map's already been generated, but it added a bunch of new like overworld map effects like uh, like the flooded mines here. So we'll see, I don't think, uh, I think these are already decided before I even expose them, but uh, we'll see if any of the new ones crop up as we go along. If not, the next cycle should have them in there. Uh, I will go with the beaver boys here and maybe we'll get lucky and get humans although i feel like less and less we've been utilizing them they're always still a good choice in my opinion uh we'll always get planks fabric is not guaranteed but likely so bricks is the most uh useful in my opinion we'll go with that uh you could also go with food and that, that would be fine as well uh okay let's get started here take a look at our forest mysteries so salty breeze uh food production speed is increased during drizzles okay that's fine um we should have to pull our beavers out of the well i don't know they might still generate hostility that way um so never mind leakage okay so resistance decreased during the storm, I think that just means uh, it's easier to get the blight rot if we're u using that stuff. Um, cloud burst. Okay, so we need coats and extra coats. Otherwise, resolve is going to be negative for two minutes. And then villages that die during a storm turn into living matter. That, that could be problematic. And then housing and services. Uh, or they'll eat double the food. Well, that, this is the worst thing in the world. Uh, we are in a Royal Woodlands map. Okay, so let's build our little cross paths here. And then let's take a quick gander around the map. I have a looky-loo. Looks like we got a bunch of tiny glades here. Uh, like six of them. Wow, that's a lot. Um, all right, well, we'll push in that direction just to chop all that out. I think that makes sense to do. I'm going to start down here because it's closest to our main warehouse. And we'll just kind of chop that first and then work our way in that direction afterwards. I would like to... Uh, it looks like I might have enough room to put my trading post right there, which is fantastic. Um, I, I like leaving the space by the warehouse open for the production buildings. Although this does impact our um, the space we have available for housing. They did rebalance some of the orders, by the way. So we might see some new orders uh, popping up in this map. Uh, Shelter-wise, I think just to start, I'll just pop a couple right here in the middle. And hopefully that'll get us by for the time being. I do want to prioritize building the woodcutters camps. And then outside of that... We can go ahead and get the crude workstation and makeshift post built out. Although I'm not confident I'm actually going to use them. I feel like the last couple, couple times I haven't actually utilized that. Uh, and then if we look at the trapper's camp, that'll get us the meat. And then, oh, excuse me. Um, and then we got stonecutters camp over here. So let's go ahead and pop that down. And that should be enough to get started. So let's go ahead and 3x the speed. Get these boys building. All right. Let's put our beavers in there. Pretty much immediately get uh, one hostility. Which is... All right. Not the end of the world. Oh, we got to pick our buildings. All right. Well, we need coats for this. So let's go with this to guarantee it. I would like planks. But hopefully we'll get a plank option later on maybe a lumber mill would be even better uh so let's go ahead and do the smithing workshops always valuable in general and then cookhouse is also a good one 
Although an herb garden would be kind of nice. Uh, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna go with that, hoping we get some other food option later on. Uh, it would be really nice to build this right here. If I did not, I got guess I'll slap that there for now. More important that the workshop gets built, and then we also need to build the smithy. But that that can wait till we clear some of this out. That might be our first uh, big glade here. All right, we are chopping away. Let's look at our order. Gain three mushrooms for every 10 grain. I feel like there's a good possibility we'll get grain on this map. So this is good, but it's just a flat plus two. This compounds over. No, it doesn't. This doesn't. This is something different. This isn't what I thought it was. All right. So this just gives us mushroom for grain, which isn't terrible. Probably worth getting. I didn't think we could use the mushroom for stuff and things. All right, let's look at the orders, see if we see anything new. So, ooh, that'd be nice, but I don't think we're anywhere near being able to do that. Uh, discover three glades, I think is realistic. This just does packs of crops production. I think all of these are realistic. I think I'll go with this one just because this is easier to do, but the yields aren't as good. Um, the 25 faster planting of crops and the plus one packs of crops are longer term gains and I think are worth doing. Uh, speaking of which, packs of building materials plus one plank production. Yes, I will definitely do that. All right, and this one. Um, so to upgrade this to an encampment, what do we need? You need eight people living in the town, which is going to happen. And then you need decorations. And those decorations are just lumber. Right, so we just need to pop those down. Put one here, put one here. I think that's potentially doable. The question is, is it worth doing? Probably not. I mean, we get tools, some essence, some parts. Eh, it's okay. I think I'd rather have the plus one grain production because that builds on the moldy grain and then fabric production. So I think that is the better choice in the long term for the health of our colony. We still need to build those things anyway, so it's not a waste. But I just don't think that's particularly strong. All right, we popped into our first glade over here. We got some flax. We got a um, geyser here with uh, drizzle, drizzle water, and some more stone. So I guess we didn't need to get bricks right away anyway. Uh, probably should have prioritized getting this done so we can actually produce stuff which actually removes the need for this building at all, right? Because this is just strictly better, the workshop. So let's go ahead and put some beaver boys in here. We'll cap these at 50 for the time being. Uh, we could definitely check all those boxes there. And then pipes we'll just leave as is for now. We, we aren't making any pipes at the moment anyway. Um, and then we have one person left. I think we probably, well, we have two people left, apparently. Let's put one in stone, and then we'll put one over here gathering meat for the time being. That doesn't leave anybody available to build anything else, but that is okay for now. We'll be pulling the people out of this woodcutter's camp at some point in the relatively near future anyway. I'm a little hesitant to chop behind here. Just because I don't want to accidentally bust through the glade. But I ultimately do need to get back here to build. So let's go ahead and lay the groundwork there. All right, we are coming up on our first storm pretty soon. We should be able to chop through the first storm without too much of a problem. All right, we got a little mushroom patch there, which is good. And we can start chopping into all this stuff too. I just want to clear out all the, um, all the stuff in this direction. At least as much as we can. It'd be nice to move this up here. All right. So people will get sad for a little bit, which is fine. We could we could weather that without much of a problem. Uh, we should be coming up on... Yeah, Old Farloof is coming up soon. We are churning along here, making bricks, making all sorts of good stuff. We keep clearing this stuff out. Let's move up here and just keep chopping. We need to clear some of this space for housing because the housing has to be in this radius as well. All right, let's look at our next thing here. 
Uh, 40 meat, 40 grain for complete glade events. That's not too much of the grand scheme of things. Uh, we maybe do four or five glade events. It's not nothing. It's just, you know, not that much. Plus five and plus 20. I think I'd rather have that amber for wood, especially in the Royal Woodlands. Just because we produce so much. Uh, looks like we've got some harpies on our hands, which is just dandy. Uh, let's go ahead and s slap a harpy in here. Maybe we could start with, start with some productions here. I'll, I'll do mushrooms for now, and then we'll do meat over here. Uh, I want to limit this to whatever we're making. So what's that? Three, ten, three. Yeah, so the three, ten, three. I think we could just use the planks for this for now. Should be okay. Let's talk to uh, our buddy here. Right. Is there anything worthwhile getting here? Ashes discovered and glades cannot be salvaged. Huh. So does that mean we can get it without needing tools? That would probably be the only thing relatively valuable to me. Let's see if we can get enough amber. I'm a little hesitant to push our luck here. But... I don't actually know how that works, so I kind of want to get it just to just to test it out and see what happens. We certainly are going to make a lot more wood throughout our time here, so I'm not overly concerned about um, spending almost all of our lumber. And we get amber for lumber now. I'm a little shocked we haven't run across any um, farmland yet. I would have thought something would have cropped up by, by now. Aha, uh -huh, pun intended, cropped up. All right, let's look at our next rewards. Uh, we could get Harpy Resolve. Fabric production's nice, but I kind of feel like Resolve is where to, where it's really at. So anything we could bump up Resolve, I think is a good thing. Uh, we're not gonna get human houses in five minutes. Um, you know, I think uh, packs of goods are probably good. Like, everything we're doing is, like, making packs of supplies. So, that's, that's pretty interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and build a smithy that is kind of next on the, the docket here. We can get that cranking out. We should be able to build some uh, race-specific housing here as well. Um, I'll probably wait on this, because once we get this cleared out, I can build an actual, um, like, a four-pack uh, housing here. Would be kind of ideal, I think. Slap a beaver into here. Uh, we could put this down. I'm not going to limit this because we're not actually making any of it now. Uh, let's limit this to like 50. And then we do need to make these. X of trade goods, right? 15 is what we need to cap it at for now. Uh, we'll leave pigment on there. Flower will be the mo most likely thing. Once we get some farmland. I don't know what's going on there. All right, so now we can just harvest this, apparently. I'm not really sure why that's different or how it's different from this. I don't know. I don't know what that, the, these uh, salvaging tools. Maybe it just gives us an option to, uh, I don't know. I That interface feels the same to me. I don't, I'm not sure. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong interface, but it feels the same. All right, we did find some farmland finally. Wow, that's a lot of Fs. Find some farmland finally. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to produce some meaningful plantage there. This is movable, so I can move this somewhere else. I might move it down here just to get some more housing up and running. I'm just going to pre-build that out. And I'll once that rock is gone, I'll, I'll, I'll put something else there. A little farm field action. Is that it? I think that's it. So I think we can do small farm. It does cover that entire area. Put that there. Connect that. All right, I think we start moving these down here. Getting ready to clean, clean out this area down here. It's kind of next on the list. I think this big glade. A yeah, human house is done. That should house the beaver indirectly. Okay, we got packs of crops. Let's go ahead and turn that in. That does increase packs of crop production. Okay, this appears to be complete. Move these guys down here for now. See what else we got going on here. Trade routes are worth more amber. That could be good. 
Double yields under the effect of biscuits. We don't actually have biscuits yet. But we we might get them. And on the on the chance we get them, I think it's worth uh, investing in that. Let's go ahead and increase the priority here. Try to get these planks done. More humans is good. We're building human housing. So that's just going to make things even better. Hopefully we get some more progress on the planks here. Uh, planks probably should be higher priority. If anything, just to finish up what we're doing. Okay, Zorg has arrived. I don't know how much we'll actually be able to utilize Zorg. Uh, let, let's just chop through this glade, pop it open, and be done with it. Might be a bad thing, might be an okay thing. Don't know what we want of this yet. Let's go ahead and look at Zorg, see what he's got. That mold supply could be good because of the grain production. I think that might be the only thing I actually want, and I only need one amber for it. So what do I want to trade? Some roots, maybe? If we get th this up and running, we're producing grain, which will in turn produce mushrooms. Okay, so we did pop through. We have a Fishman Cave is the event. This guy here. Looks like I need resin. Glad I didn't sell that. Uh, it's going to spawn stuff, which is not fun. I think I'd rather take the 20 straight amber and the reputation. So let's go ahead and pop these guys into here. Do a little investigation. A fine smith. What the heck is this? Resin and water makes amber. That's pretty incredible. And wood and copper bars. I'll, I'll build this. This is pretty, pretty fantastic. Uh, cooperage. It'll give us the barrels that we need if we find a way to produce metal or crystallized dew. All right. Let's go ahead and turn in our next order. I think we'll go with this one to get even more grain production and more fabric production. Um, once this is done being <laughs> built, we can start getting that grain going. Hopefully as fast as possible. Uh, now I kind of want to take this one of these guys out of here and swap the other human into there just to get that started as fast as possible and i'm also leaning towards re-rolling i don't really know if i want anything here i guess no i could get the herbalist camp that would let me get this and there is some mushrooms over here so it wouldn't be com completely wasted but i don't know how much long-term benefit we actually get from that um I'll, I'll take it just on the chance it actually benefits me i think i'll get the forester's hut because it produces crystallized dew i'm finding that i have more and more of a need for that so hopefully we'll find some more farmland uh let's move these guys over here and keep the uh keep the chopping going clear out this section and maybe even go into this little glade here and then we could work our way around, clear this out, pop into that glade at the same time. That would be great. I don't have anybody available to deal with this. We'll just have to leave it as is for now. Hopefully this gets cleared out. Uh, it looks like it'll maybe just be cleared out before the storm. These uh, fishermen's totems, however, will not. Uh, okay, so trade routes, I think that's something we can do. Probably worth doing, too. Uh, open caches. Well, let me carry more stuff when to send to Glade events. I think I'd rather have the barrel production, but I, I can't say for sure that I'm actually going to produce enough. Let's get a rain collector going. We'll slap one down there. If anything, we could at least harvest the rain for the time being. Okay, so we are producing coats. I need more people. That's what I need. Where can I get people? I don't want to take anybody out of here. I might have to take somebody out of here and I, I really don't want to take anybody out of here because we're producing stuff. Well, let's, let's just take the person out of here for the time being. We just got to start chipping away at these fishermen's totems because they're getting a little out of hand. Wait, how are you idle in a totem? I'm confused. Oh, we didn't click the button to investigate. That's how. Okay. Well, we're going to lose our, oh boy. What is going on? Why are people so unhappy? What happened? Let's take a look. So, Cloudburst, Looming Darkness. 
Oh, because it's based off the number of people. Okay, so we're definitely going to have to take beavers out. This is going to be brutal. Uh, apparently, we don't have enough coats, and that's making people unhappy. Is there anything I could do here? We just burn a ton of wood? I don't think I could burn any more. All right, we're just going to have to roast what we can. Sorry, Harpy Scout. Let's get these fishermen's totems out of here. <laughs> these are definitely causing some grief. Oh, we do get some more uh, stuff here. That's good. Let's get a forester's hut, because I feel like I need the crystallized dew more than anything. Let's go ahead and produce that. Uh, how do we not have people investigating all of these and getting rid of them? Get them out of here. Okay, move this over here. We'll keep on chopping away where we can. I do need more beavers to put in here at some point relatively soon. Once these are all cleared out, it should increase the mood anyway. Uh, I will absolutely do this because it'll give me barrels. And I need barrels. Okay. Our lumber mills are back in order. We could stop burning the hell out of everything and just wasting all of that material. We certainly can't get away with doing that all the time. We used like 200 wood right there. Like just for that. Uh, I would like to rebuild this. Don't have enough planks available to do that at the moment. Let's move this over here for now. It's still within the borders, so it's fine. I'm tempted to leave a spot here for a service building. But we'll have to see how it goes. I would like to get more people in here. And then maybe we can prioritize getting this built so that we can get that going. Uh, we also need to get somebody in here. Let's stack, stack a couple people in here for the time being. Low on food. That's not, not terribly surprising. Um, advanced rain collector could be good. At some point, I'll need those parts. Uh, the other thing I need is a herbalist camp. We could start uh, ripping through this stuff here. That would be pretty valuable, I think. All right, let's talk to Sother. We are getting amber just kind of trickling in over time. Uh, I mean, that could be good. We do have people leaving, and I think we're going to have a lot more leaving. Let's lower the storm duration and increase the clearance duration. Um, we could definitely trade a little more amber here. All right, that, that should be pretty perfect. So we'll run with that for now. All right, that, that should have in increased the clearance right here, which is great. Uh, any chance of us getting anybody in here now? Looks like beavers are the ideal people for this. I just want to do crystallized dew. It's all I want to, all I want to do in here because we could use that to make tools. Uh, in that case, I will cap this at fifty. Um, flour is something we need at some point, and we are growing grain, a lot of it, which should yield mushrooms as well as we harvest those. Okay, so we need uh, planks. Planks are what we need more than anything. I'm going to increase the priority of planks right now. And as soon as we get all the... I think that's the issue right now. We're using them all to make these packs of building materials. It would be really nice to not have to do that. Let's move these guys over here. Make sure we can trim out everything we need to around the farm. And utilize all the farmland. And then maybe by next season, we'll be able to step into this big glade. Let's look at our next order. Uh, Beaver Resolve. Yeah, I think up upgrading two hearths to level two. I think the plank production is more useful to me. As a matter of fact, I think that's what I want to focus on more than anything. So this uh, packs of building materials five gives me plank production, which will help compound into... Uh, these other productions. So I think that would be really beneficial. Uh, let's go ahead and slap this down here. Stone cutter camp. You got some more stone up here. Actually, why don't, why don't we get some of this marrow? That would be good. Not only to get it out of the way, but there is value in it. We could sell it and make a lot of cash. 
Uh, let's go ahead and build some more farms. Hopefully we chop out the rest of that rel relatively quick. I, I want to hold on getting this fifth one here. All right, we're coming up on the storm, which means we're going to stop chopping very soon. Uh, let's pull all the beaver boys out of here. And the storms are going to be brutal. Yeah, we are losing some resolve there. Are we going to make it through before they leave? I'm not sure. There we go. Buy a little time. Reset, <laughs> reset the counter there. All right, we made it through. All right, we got the big pack delivery. That'll give me more planks. More planks is faster production. Hopefully, we can get those harpies happy enough by doing this, which is the next one. Um, Meat production. I like that, even though we don't have a ton of meat available at the moment. Uh, I think there's, like, food is a, food scarcity is a real thing right now for us, so I think it's definitely worth doing. Let's put all our beaver boys back into chopping. Uh, what's the next building we can get? Monastery, I think, is worth doing. Religion and leisure. Let's slap it down over here. We can also do some, like, buildings and stuff around it. Let's do a lamp on either side. Maybe do some smaller flower beds around it. I don't think... Was that four? So that's... It would only be seven. I think ultimately we need a little bit more. Well, let's just put that there for now, and maybe we could sneak another one in somewhere. Probably behind these houses. Um, It's probably more than we need. Which I think we might only need one, so let's just go ahead and build that. We need so much lumber, though. Like, all of this is pending lumber. So let, let's just try to get that done. Hopefully we get newcomers, because we are kind of running out of that, too. Uh, let's go ahead and sell this. We just don't have enough packs of provisions. Probably shouldn't have traded that. I need those packs, I think. Oh, no, I don't need them for this anymore. All right, let's get um, more beavers, because I need the beavers for here. And then the human can go here to produce more food. Okay, you can keep doing packs of crops for now. I think we need to up that to 15, right? And we definitely can not use the mushrooms and switch over to using grain. Because that's pretty readily available. Meat's gonna skyrocket, so we'll leave that. I'll leave the copper ore just in case we need it. Keep pumping planks into there for now. Low on food, not surprising. Wish it wasn't the case, but it is what it is. Hopefully we can get enough of this crystallized dew. Yeah, I think we harvested as much of that as we can. So let's just move these guys over here for now. And just keep chopping through all the, the glade stuff here. Uh, advanced rain collector could be good. I know we need to use some clearance water. This uses storm water. Is there an easy way to look at what uses the different water types? That would be nice. It probably exists, I just don't know what it is. And actually, I don't really have any production buildings that need it at the moment. I do need to build a second hearth somewhere to advance that. All right, Trapper's Camp's got nothing nearby. We did just complete a very expensive uh, building here. All right, nothing for Trapper's Camp at the moment. We'll take it out of there. Hopefully, we expose some more meat nodes at some point relatively soon, because I would really like to utilize this uh, meat specialization. Anything that'll cause food to kind of compound uh, would be extremely beneficial, in my opinion. All right, let's go ahead and keep leapfrogging these guys up in this direction. Keep chopping this stuff out. All right, old Farloof, that's about as far as I'm going to get with you. Uh, I don't want more beavers. More crystallized dew could be good. I think there's value in that if we can get that. I think we can get to that just by selling some lumber. And that should yield more crystallized dew here with the harvests. Yeah, that'll be four. I, I Looks like it only takes effect when they're planted, so it's not immediate. That's okay. All right, we did get this order done. We can deliver that. That gives us three harpies and makes, us, makes the harpies a little bit happier, which, you know, eh, we'll see how that goes. 
Uh, let's put a harpy in here. Pretty much anywhere we can shove another person would be great. Um, I do want to build this building. Let's put some harpies into here and rebuild where we can. I don't even know if I need this barrel anymore because we are getting barrels for free. Not at, not at like a breakneck pace or anything, but we are getting free barrels. Um, okay, so ale would be good. Ale would be really good. That plays into that plays into all these different productions we have going on over here. Um, it'll let us get ale, which will let us go into the monastery for leisure, which will just make everybody a little bit happier. It did lower hostility by quite a bit, so I think that is worth it. If anything, just for that. Uh, I am grateful that the clearance is extended. It does give us a little more time in the clearance. Uh, let's just focus on chopping this stuff out over here. That's a little glade, so tapping into that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Um, okay, so I have to actually use the water to get this. I don't think we'll get that many packs of provisions in that time frame. So I don't think we can pull this off. Ancient tablet could be good. I'll do it. Um, I'll take this, even though this is more achievable. 30 packs of provisions. I'd rather use the packs on trading. So we do, do unfortunately need some ancient tablets. Uh, let's move these guys up here just so we can continue harvesting. All right, that goes away. Certainly need food. That is a bit problematic. We need coats too. How are we this shy on coats? That's a bit surprising to me. Lumber is also a bit of a concern. I think I might have to turn off packs of materials for now i don't think we need it for anything and there's definitely a need for all that lumber i don't even have housing for everyone so it's it's a bit brutal uh speaking of housing let's go ahead and get some harpy housing up and running over here let's move this out of the way all right so hopefully we start making some progress towards better districts. I'm actually surprised that I'm able to still chop. The hostility of the forest is staying relatively low. I think a good part of that is just to do with uh, everybody being in the monastery. Okay, so urban housing would be good. See, I hate that they nerfed this, so it's only during the storm. So that's extremely limiting. Uh, I don't think this is even worth taking anymore because half the time in the storm, you're pulling the people out so you don't end up in a bad situation. Um, I will do this, Smuggler's Visit, because then we can choose what we want. And I think at this point, what I'm going to need is a rain mill because I need flour. And then hopefully we'll get a bakery or a cookhouse or something where we can make biscuits. Would be really ideal. Although... Now I kind of want to wait until we tap into a glade because if we end up in a situation where we can get uh, like a large meat uh, node, it might be worth like forcing a trappers, right? Um, although I really need those packs of trade goods for for this. Well, food's more important. Like we, if we don't have food, we're dead. So let's go ahead and add some people into here. Get these eggs at least harvested. If we could find another farmland in here, that'd be fantastic. Uh, we cannot. However, however, small dewberry bush, large root deposit, and termite. Edible insects. Totally worth it. Harvesting and planting are slower. Lowers global resolve temporarily. I can live with those things. Um, I don't think this stacks with the mushrooms that would come from this, so I don't think that's worth it. I'd rather have just the raw insect production. So let's go ahead and get that going. I kind of would like to go to at least one more big glade. But for now, let's just get back over here, right? Because we don't need to be immediately next to that one. Let's focus on chopping this area out so we have more buildable space. We are getting some housing up and running. That should make people a bit happier in general. Come on, Beaver Boys. All right. So hopefully 
We got some trade routes here. Uh, you know, I'll sell that. I'm sure at some point we'll get more uh, packs. We got plenty of uh, plenty of wheat, right? We got plus production, nine grain per. All right, Zorg has arrived. Should be able to trade with him relatively soon. Uh, let's pop down a path here. All right, clay pit, plantation. This gets in the rain mill. Could save us from the stove, assuming we get it. Plus ale production would be good. Let's just do the plus ale production. I think that's worth doing. Let's sell some of this resin. So we should be cranking out some ale relatively quickly over here. Uh, I don't think we need to do the wine right now. Pigment, two-star pigment would be pretty good because uh, we will have a source of insect production. Let's uh, let's put the, let's cap that at fifty, and then I think we want to, yeah, here. All right, that's at fifteen. So we. We can finally start producing that. We are using all these coats. Like, these coats are immediately being consumed. We are making simple tools now, though. That's good. Uh, speaking of which, maybe we could look at some of these small caches and see if there's anything worth grabbing. Is there? There's a cache down here. That would give me two of the ancient tablets and plus two barrels. Even though I'm not actually producing barrels. I, I could use the tablets. All right, let's come over here and get ready to start chopping into this glade. We don't want to, probably don't want to do this before the storm, but if we could at least chop it out, could be good. Uh, let's go ahead and destroy this rain collector and replace it with a advanced rain collector. Even better. Okay, now we finally have ale production happening and some pigment. Well, as soon as this is done, it'll be done soon. Herbalist camp's got nothing nearby. That's not too surprising. Let's go over here. And it would probably be pretty nice if we built a storage hub in this area. Although there's nothing really worth storing over here. Do we need any of these buildings? I don't think so. Like salvaging these buildings could be maybe good for something. I don't need this building because I don't need crystallized dew. Already have wine production. The kiln could be good if I want coal. And it does give me a source of jerky, although it's not the best source. Still low on food. No surprise there. I'll just keep trimming this stuff out for now. Getting ready to tap into this glade after the next storm. I am quite worried about where this is going to go. Uh, Tigshuri should be making ale. Ale will make people happy. Happy is good. Uh, let's pop. Uh, oh, let's delete that little nugget there and put a house here if we can. I think they should still be able to get into that. And then we need more housing. So let's get more human houses over here. And then we need more, um, more harpy houses. So let's just build those over here. All right. And then we just need more decoration. So this counts as a harmony decoration. So we'll just move that over here and that'll fill that need. And then we just need 16 comfort or eight more comfort decorations. So if we look here and we look at comfort, just a couple more parks to slap down. So let's just do that. And that should get this all the way up to uh, a district. We do have to get another na neighborhood down at some point. I don't really want to not chop right now, but if I have to, I will. It's just not ideal. Uh, I'll sell some bricks. I'll sell some of this. I just need to get to enough trade routes. Well, and enough amber. All right, I'm thinking the storm will be done before these guys spaz out and leave. I might be wrong, but I think I'm on point there. Yeah, just, just by a couple seconds. Okay, so I will do this because retroactive bonuses. Also, the more I do trading, which I need to do anyway, the faster I can kind of recoup some of that. All right, so the question is, do I do meat or do I do the, uh, do I do the rain, um, rain mill? 
and this glade's going to determine it. So whatever I get in this glade, if there's meat, I'll do a meat thing. If there's not meat, I will not. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, I don't even want. I don't even want to recruit anybody right now. All right, can we please get through? I'm like out of resources. Okay, we have some housing. People are starting to get a little happier. Still not kind of all the way there, but starting. Okay, we're through. There is no meat that I see. So, this is all resin, which is good. Uh, ancient tablets here. That'll let me complete that. So, we should go ahead and do that right away. So, that tells me I need to do the rain mill. It's a little unfortunate because I was hoping there'd be some sort of meat node where Trapper's Camp would be worth it. But, no, it doesn't look like it. Uh, rain mill. Where are you? Why are, why is this list not alphabetical? I, I guess I could search rain mill. Okay. So we have the rain mill, which gives us our flower, which theoretically will ultimately give us biscuits and other good stuff. Let's go ahead and pop that down here. Okay. Let's put somebody in here. Keep collecting that liquid. I need something that uses clearance water, drizzle water. Mm, we do have some stone over here, although this is really off the beaten path. I will have to get something up and running here. Uh, I, you know, I just don't know if I need more people right now. I probably will at some point. Uh, do I need bear? No, I'm not going to do anything with this. Did we break this down already? No. Okay, I think for these, I'd rather have the money, right? I need amber. One more trade route will get me to complete this. And then at some point I need to build another district. So let's go ahead and slap down small hearth somewhere. Maybe down here. It seems hearth like ah, it's overlapping a little bit. I don't want to destroy that node. Let's just put it here. And then I think we need some harmony buildings within range of that. To get it to level one, that's what I need to get it to, right? No, a level, yes, neighborhood. Okay, so that's going to need more than just that. That's going to need some gardens as well. All right, maybe we could get that done. That would be nice. Are we almost done hauling this crap everywhere? We will get the ancient tablets, so that'll be good. I'll actually have two more tablets than I need, so I could trade those away. Advanced smithing. Could be nice. I don't think we are doing anything with pickle goods at the moment. I will buy that. Is there a chance for me to get 13? Uh, I don't need... I certainly could sell one. I think I could sell two. Can't remember. We could sell some as marrow. This is really expensive. I will get the pickle jars in case we have a way to make pickled goods. I'm sure at some point we will if we don't already have a way. I'll, I'll only need one beaver in there. I could leave somebody out wandering around to build. Rain mill would be good to get up and running. Uh, I think I will actually take the people because I will need them for the rain mill and everything. Hopefully this stuff starts getting built. There we go. Some happy people that aren't all miserable. We still don't have enough housing somehow for the harpies. So let's go ahead and... Well, we... Never mind, we got one more house that's being built that should provide enough housing. We are at a level three district. I am going to start chopping in this direction just to start clearing this stuff out uh, towards, you know, after the next storm. Okay, we got some unhappy people. That's not surprising. Trapper's camp's got nothing nearby. I don't think there's anything on the map right now. Can't do that large storm bird nest. I think we'll just take the people out of here for now. All right, is this done? We need uh, people housed here. Okay, so I think we need to move some of the housing. Let's uh, let's shove the harpies over here. Maybe they'll uh, maybe they'll behave better. Okay, so now we just need let's see, three more houses brought over in this direction. Somehow we'll cram them in here. Well, maybe we could move these uh, like garbage houses over here. And maybe that'll be enough. Yep, it was. So now that's complete. Uh, this still has, has enough 
people living around it. Let's go ahead and sell this. Sell some barrels. I think that's fine. We can go ahead and do... Um, you know, that could be good, but I think I'm about to finish up with the trade routes here, so I don't think it matters that much. I am making packs of trade goods, so that's probably worth doing. And even after I'm done with packs of trade goods, I'm still going to be doing trading. So at this point now, I'm just trying to complete these orders and make people happier. So that's what I'm currently working with. Are they not done hauling this crap away yet? Ancient tablet should be done relatively soon. All right. Are we still like we keep running low on food? Shouldn't be that surprising to me. All right. Let's pop into this big glade. Hopefully this will be done soon. And then the amber will be collected. That'll be done. Trade goods will be done pretty soon. So it's all starting to happen. It's just taking a little bit of time to get there. All right. We now have our stamping mill or our rain mill up and running. Uh, let's limit this to like 60 scrolls. I think we could use wood for that. There's no reason not to. Pigment we got. Um, let's limit that to... 50 and packs of building materials we don't need right now but if we need them that's where we can build them all right religion doesn't need scrolls it needs uh that's education okay so here we are another glade another another termite burrow that's good uh, i will definitely convert that because if we get more termites that's even better five per minute that'll be 10 per minute uh is there anything in here worth busting out I think at this stage, I just want to push forward with as much uh, reputation as possible because we're kind of running a little behind here. So, yeah, and if we could ge generate more amber, too, that, that would always be good. Uh, I'm just going to move these guys a little bit closer here. Just keep chopping the trees down. All right, ancient tablet is done. That will give us roots every time we get new glades. We just got five more people. I don't really know what the heck we're going to do with them, but... We got them. Uh, let's pop a couple human houses down here. A couple beaver houses over here. And maybe another harpy house or two. Just, just to keep things moving. All right, so what can we get here? Temple does education. I could take a temple. I probably should have re-rolled for like a food or something, but temple's fine. Okay, we have... Plus one packs there. We could turn that in. Getting close to turning this amber in. Almost done with the dangerous glades. We got one more to go. We could pretty easily tap into this glade over here. Druid hut. I'm amazed we didn't find any more... Um, what you call it? Uh, I thought for sure we'd find more farm tiles. But we didn't. Alright, let's move these guys up here. I think we'll just trim this down and get ready to chop in this glade everybody's housed everybody is relatively happy i do not need more people as a matter of fact more people would be problematic at this point uh let's go ahead and sell some of that sell some of that that's fine they did update this interface a little by the way they um you could get expansion it's all kind of listed there and one big interface kind of nice um all right, what do I want from you? I could sell this now, right? I don't need these anymore. Uh, I don't need this anymore. Tax of crops, right? There's nothing over here that requires that. So we can get rid of that. Switch that for cash. Crystallize do. That's some. That's a pretty penny waiting right there. We could definitely trade some of that, and we have, we have plenty to spare. So that's that's a good sale right there. What does this give us? Mm, I don't know if I need another building. Uh, we'll grab pie production. Not that we actually have it, but in case we get pie, it'll probably be worth doing. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so brewery's okay, but we already have ale. It's only two star, but this could give us the pickled goods we need. Actually, do we need pickled goods? Yes. One, the beavers would like pickled goods. They don't need it. They'd like it. We're not getting leisure bonuses. So is this just not churning out enough? There we go. I didn't have the barrels checked. Man, what am I thinking? Okay. So that's fine. So we don't need this. 
This would give us biscuits, which is something we need, and incense, which we also need. Okay, so we'll pop this down here. Go ahead and do that. So incense and biscuits are two things we need. We don't actually have herbs, which I guess is a little less than ideal, but at some point we'll get them. Maybe. I just need more farmland. We just don't have any farmland. Okay, we, we could definitely put some people in here, right? And start churning out resin and clearance water. Does that count as using clearance water? I don't know. And this uses storm water. All right, let, let's, let's do that. That might count as using the clearance water. I only have one building left to get. So it better be something food related. Because we are not progressing very quick with the resolve. All right, let's scoot this forward a little bit. Keep trimming, keep trimming. All right, that dropped pretty significantly. Let's go ahead and pull some beavers out here, get us under the threshold. All right, I think the other thing we need, I don't think we've been getting enough material for fabric. So I really do need to build something to start harvesting all this. Let's go ahead and get that going. Should have done that a long time ago. Uh, this could get us herbs to get started on the biscuits. Okay, let's pop some humans into there. We could definitely tap into a, the glade here now. Oh, we have some leftover beavers. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and tap into that glade. Let's look at our next thing. Um, okay. Advanced herbalism. We're not actually making any herbs yet, but could be good. Woodcutter's camp makes even more grain. I think it's a little late in the game for this, but this would have been good up front. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that and see what happens. I, I, we're not utilizing it now, but maybe at some point. Uh, I think we should probably get a storage building over here just to make things a little quicker. And is it worth... Let's go ahead and salvage this. All right, there we go. My calls have been heard. Let's get an herb garden up and running even though it's probably just going to be the last little bit here um packs of trade goods could be used i think i'll just get the amber and the grace just to progress this along and then i think we can build a warehouse up here even hey look at that got the the big old meat production there too but it's way late in the game for that let's go ahead and turn this in gives us our last potential building so if we need anything, we need something that makes food, right? Because that is our current, like, major shortage. We'll get education via this building. Uh, biscuits, we now have. Religion should be coming through here once we get this up and running. And this is all going to come down to making these herbs, right? So live with this to 50. This is the incense and biscuits, all based off the herb production up here so this needs to be like priority number 1000 uh and probably get this done as well all right i guess we'll just sit on that building for now and just try to keep making progress so is this not counting as using the clearance water i mean that kind of sucks because it is using it but i guess it doesn't count all right fabric shortage definitely part of the problem i would really like to solve that problem if i can uh, let's just put a human in here for now. I don't want to get more people, but I will if I have to. Okay, event completed. Let's just keep progressing this here. We should be making infused tools down here at some point. Are they not doing that? We have all the materials. There we go. Some infused tools are getting cranked out now. Plenty of housing. All right, so next season they'll start producing. It's a little less than ideal. Uh, harmony, we can move you over here, right? These can use some harmony. We need some people in here. That's education. Take a look at what the trader Zorg has. Uh, herbs, sure. Storage increased. Food production speed. I mean, we got the amber. We might as well just buy everything that we can. Yeah, buy that too. Why not? Uh, is there anything that could accelerate our victory? Maybe buying some of that. Just buying some food would be good. Uh, we could knock that down to 34. 
do a little trade there. I mean, I might as well just get all my amber back by trading all this crap. Right? Well, uh, no, 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 no. We could definitely trade this stuff. Trade some wheat. Um, I don't think we'll ever use this many bricks or this much copper ore. I don't think we're going to use copper ore for anything, to be honest. All right, we got money. We could just trade more stuff here. Why not? Keep things moving along. Hopefully, we got some happiness coming in here. We should be getting some clothing production, which is good. I, th I think the accident here was we used up all of our fabric initially. So that became a little problematic. Uh, there we go. Education's coming through. Should have some biscuit production coming through. I think everything's kind of tipping into the positive here. Beavers could be a little happier. This clothing production's still kind of tight. Are there any more packs of stuff we can clear out? There are. Let's throw you guys in here. Why don't you get happier? We'll buy our way to victory. Uh, you know what? Actually, it would be good to get this. This is machinery parts. Uh, yes. Do the infuse tools. All right. That should be hopefully good enough to get all this in. We are carrying the machinery back, so that should, uh, should kind of plow us to victory here. I probably really should have only planted herbs. But that is a fair amount of herbs coming through now. Eh, what the heck. Alright, nobody's got nothing nearby, but that's fine. We're just, like, on the cusp. There we go. Victory. I think we even got those extra five, uh, because the thing was only 12, so that worked out really well. Alright, well, that went pretty good. I would say this Forbidden Lands would be a nice thing to go to next, and then that'll be our last one for this cycle. All right, everything is working out pretty well. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel to see more content in the future. And we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.